everyone. We're continuing our walkthrough now of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom 15 minute version. This is part 64 of our SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom 15 minute version walkthrough. In the last part, we we continued on with Sandy's dream, but before that, we 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 died a lot of times to get the shiny objects we needed in order to make our method work with the clams because you could tell if we did the clam when we had the amount of shiny objects to begin with in the last video we wouldn't be in the 20,000 shiny object range so we had to do that super ultra mega monster combo and die a lot of times in order for us to stay in this range so and we and we went across the um the swing hooks that came available when paying for the clam. So, um, and we're right now on the patch where the where the robot challenge happens for the challenge named Swingers Ahoy in Sandy's Dream. So we'll continue now and do the robot battle. Cause see, we landed here in the last video, and you could tell after you go on these swing hooks. You'll see a duplicatron and a lot of robots come. And a lot of robots you need to fight in order to get the spatula. In order to get the spatula on this, on this, uh, on the roof. Do you see it? So now we'll first touch the duplicatron. And then get the... And then get the chuck if possible. So we'll first get some lives. Now see, only because we can, we're roping these robots. And now you see, when you defeat the last robot, the spatula comes down. And we'll eventually get it. But there's, there's a sock around here we're going to collect too. And, be, and before that, we, you see, we're destroying all these thunder teepees. And there should be a total of 10 thunder teepees spread around on this path. And now you could tell when you come behind this house, you'll see there's a sock right here. And now sockwise, we're 1920ths done with the game. And sockwise, for SpongeBob's dream, there are three in Sandy's dream, one in Squidward's dream, and one in Mr. Krabs' dream. So now we'll get the spatula here. Now see, did you hear that sound again? There's the hated one. And ah, it's kind of funny because do you see now spatula wise, the number in the ones is upside down from the number in the tens according to the number of spatulas we have. Can you visualize that? And now since we finished up the challenge named Swingers Ahoy, now we'll go now we'll jump on, on this trampoline to go back to where Plankton is. And now we'll talk with Plankton. Hmm. All this beautiful mayhem wasted on some brainless tin cans. Hmm. All this beautiful mayhem and now we'll continue on with the sky slide. Now my goal for this video is to try and be done with the sky slide at 10 minutes on the camera and be at the checkpoint in Squidward Stream where we have to do the patch, where we have to do the patch twice in order to, in order to get the sock 
you could tell that I told you that there is in Squidward's dream. Do you get what I'm talking about Squidward's dream wise? If so, that location wise, if you know where I'm talking about, that's where we're going to stop the video for today. If, if we could get up to there in time. So see, right there is another song. And we just got a checkpoint and a life. Now see, after we go through this tunnel, you'll see that, um, you'll see that there are cows held up by balloons throwing these, throwing these things that look like pies. But it looks like it's manure, but I don't know which it is. Tell me what it is as a comment on this video, because I don't know what it is. Now, did you hear for the fourth and the fifth cows there was a sound? They'll always do that. But the first three are muted. So now we're doing another robot battle. Well, it's not really much like one. It just looks like it is because there are robots. And now you can tell we're above 21,000 shiny objects again. <laughs> it looks like we got each other. That's funny. So see, do you see where the fireworks were? Right here where I'm standing is another sock. And that's the um, last of them in Sandy's dream. And sock-wise, you could tell we're now 39 40ths done with the game. So now we'll go on this trampoline and continue the slide. And ending-wise for the slide, it's not far from here. Now see, there's a shiny object and a wood tiki. And this repeats. Five. Five and a half times. Because it does it for, for the red shiny object twice, the yellow shiny object twice, the green shiny object, and the blue. Now you can tell when you come in here, it's a shortcut. And now, do you see the shell on the screen? Usually when I'm in here, I try and make it do the shell on the screen so that when it comes to doing the slide, it'll get done quicker. Now see, we're gonna collect one of each shiny object except a blue and a purple and get the last checkpoint. And now you can tell there's a third cow that made a sound. So there's a total. And see? See, there's the last of the cows. And right here is the end of the sky slide. And see? With the shiny objects, you can see there's a math problem. Do you see that? So now you can tell I opened the teleport box and now we'll get the spatula. And now, spatula-wise, we're seven-tenths done with the game. So now we'll go in the teleport box. And then before we talk with Larry, we're going to um, explode this. Wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you. And that he only says that the first time after completing. Now listen to him again. Hey, if you're not busy later, come work out at the gym in my dream bubble. Hey, if you're not... Okay, so now since we finished up Sandy's dream, now we can go with Spongebob exiting Sandy's dream. But let's listen to what Spongebob says with Larry. Hey, Larry. What's happening, Spongebob? Now, I don't know what Spongebob says with Larry when he, when he's with, when he's, um, when he's talking to him like we did with Sandy in the beginning of this challenge. So, so I don't get why with Sandy, she always dreams of, she always dreams of Texas. Can you tell me why as a comment on this video? If you can, that'll be great, because that'll be interesting to know. So you can tell we're exiting Sandy's dream. And now because we finished up Sandy's dream, we could do the spatula named Super Bounce. <laughs> C 
see we're getting it right now. And now we'll pay for this clam. And it's a thousand shiny objects again. So now, in order to make this a um, method work, we have to um, make sure our ob shiny objects, total-wise, is twenty-one thousand before we um, before we pay for the clam by Mr. Krabs's drink. Now I think during Squidward's dream we'll be able to get it. Don't you guys think? So now we'll go into Squidward's dream. For heaven's sake, boy, cover your ears. And you can tell SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs are talking. Mr. Krabs? What are you doing in Squidward's dream? See, according to Squidward's and Mr. Krabs' dream, they flip flopped the characters talking wise to begin in during the dream. So my question to you is, since we played as Sandy during her dream and we talked with Larry, when it comes to Squidward's and Mr. Krabs' dream, why did they flip-flop the characters instead of the regular character being in their real dream when playing this level? Tell me that is, when playing those levels. Tell me that as a comment on this video because I don't understand why. Because you could tell for Mr. For Squidward's dream, it's for Mr. Krabs. It's Mr. Krabs, right? You could tell it's Mr. Krabs talking wise for Squidward's dream, right? So, so proving wise to you, since I just told you, that could prove to you that Squidward is the talking person for Mr. Krabs' dream. So, why did they decide to flip-flop the characters beginning talking wise when it comes to doing the dreams? Tell me that as a comment on this video. Because I don't know why. Hard time, boy. Or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's Ooh, I, big nose? I did it a little early. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. Okay, so now we'll open the teleport box and get a shiny object. Now, now you see, according to the spatula I'm doing now, this is the most trickiest one in, um, in SpongeBob's dream that I consider it being. Now, did you see those blue notes I, keep, I just went on? Those notes are safe. And when it comes to these orange notes that sound like a piano, they're dying notes. And do you see these um, red sharps here? They're like enemies. Now, you saw I just got a checkpoint. And now you can tell there's a long line of blue notes. And see, I just got another checkpoint. And now, instead of them being like up and down in a pyramid, they're all separated around. This is where I thought we'd stop, so we'll stop here. And it's just five seconds above our big limit. So yeah, most likely in this video we finished up Sandy's dream, like doing the sky slide, and we got a couple spat a few spatulas. And we're right now I say three eighths done with Squidward's dream, but I'm guessing more likely or no, I think we're halfway done with Squidward's dream. And you see platform wise where we are right now. Goal-wise for this video, where we're standing, that was going to be our goal for this video today. So we actually made our goal. So yeah, that'll end part 64. And I'll see you guys in part 65.